Uh, well, a while back, uh, Steve Jordan posted a series of three videos uh, on his YouTube channel <coughs> demonstrating how he made a compound slide power feed for his MyFood lathe. And I thought this was a really excellent um, idea and would be quite useful to have a similar thing for my Warco lathe. Now, I'll put links in the description to Steve's videos because they're well worth watching. Uh, but the Myford lathe, or his Myford lathe, has a fairly <coughs> has a fairly conventional um, uh, single spoke uh, handle on the compound side, whereas the Warco lathe has a very different. It has a wheel with two 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 pins coming out of it. So obviously the adapter needs to be somewhat different. Um, but um, basically, this is very similar to the one that Steve made. Um, he utilised this excellent um, high torque motor and gearbox assembly from Banggood. And again, I'll put a link in the description to that. Uh, he also shows you how to make this, this brass bracket for, for the on and off switch. <clears throat> I changed it slightly. Obviously, I needed, as I said, a different adapter. This is the adapter that fits the, uh, that I made that fits the compound side on the Warco lathe. I'll show it working shortly. Um, he also used, this is a 24 volt motor. Um, and he also used a mains DC power supply to power the DC motor controller. Now, I used exactly the same DC motor controller, which again is available from Van Vanguard. And, and I'll put a screenshot up now so you can see what it looks like. And that's that DC motor controller is inside this, this wooden box. Now, Steve decided to go with a mains to DC uh, power supply to power the DC motor controller. I've gone down a slightly different route. I've decided to use batteries. So this is basically a battery box. There are a couple of uh, LiPo uh, batteries in there. And I'll put a screenshot up now so you can see what which batteries I actually used. Um, but other than that, it's 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 identical to his system. Um, I've added a few things. This this is the speed control that comes with the uh, DC motor controller. This is the forward and reverse switch, which again it all comes with the DC motor controller. I've added a switch which allows me to switch the output from 24 volts to 12 volts. That means I can use this battery box uh, on 12 volt motors as well as 24 volt motors. And then there's a little power on uh, LED and, and an off switch. And, that, and that's basically all there is to it. Um, so <clears throat> let's see it in action. And um, also why I, I think it's a very useful thing to have if you've got a Warco lathe. Okay, well, we'll give it a quick functional test before we take it over to the, to the lathe. So basically turn the power on. Make sure you've got select, uh, 24 volts selected. Select your direction, in this case forward. And then away you go. And obviously you can speed it up or slow it down. Obviously, you know, you're not going to want the really high speed, but... And then you turn it... Select reverse and it will run the other way. Right, let's take it over to the lathe. Okay, here we are over at the Walco WM180 lathe. Here's our power feed. And basically you just uh, pop it on the uh, end of the compound side like that. Select whether you want to go forwards or backwards on the control box and away you go simple as that uh, we'll go the other way obviously you can vary the speed now obviously there's quite a lot of uses for this um, Steve actually shows on one of his videos um, using this to um, cut some lovely tapers because obviously you can maintain a constant feed rate um, and that's uh, ideal. But one of the reasons I like it specifically for the Warco lathe is that in order to 
swivel the compound slide through an angle, you need to access two cap head screws which are underneath it, underneath the compound slide. And in order to get to those screws, you have to wind the compound slide um, an awful lot this way. So it takes ages. So I'll, sh I'll demonstrate. And this is why this is superb. So if we uh, crank this up a bit. And there you can see the two screws. Let's move in a little bit. There and there. And those, on the, the, those are the lock screws which allow you to swivel the compound slide. Now you, you can see it's not quite at its full length of travel, but it, it has to come back this way an awful long way. And trying to do that manually by hand is a right pain, uh, particularly with the little wheel that's on the compound slide. So this just makes it so much easier. And obviously quite often you have to swivel the compound slide. It's, you know, part of what you've got to do. So if we just, we'll, we'll wind it back now. Let me come back out again. Yeah, so, you know, this makes the whole process so much easier. There you go, simple as that. Um, and as I said, you know, ideal for constant, nice, s steady feed rates. I'll wind it down a bit. So, let's come down a bit further than that, I think. Right. You know, so you know you can get a perfectly good cut with a constant speed rate like that is absolutely perfect so yeah it, it's it's a very very useful tool and uh you know very very simple easy to make um you know obviously you've got to make the the adapter up for your your lathe there's a little bit of wiring to do but it's very very simple it's just an on and off switch basically it's you know not rocket science um so yeah a very useful tool indeed right what i thought we'd do is i'll take the adapter off so that uh, you can uh, you can basically see that in a bit more detail Right. Yeah, so as you can see, basically it's just a lump of aluminium with um, some holes drilled in it to take the um, two spigots that come out of the wheel, another one for the shaft, and then a set screw. And that's that's basically all there is to that. I mean, obviously, if your lathe has got a different um, wheel handle on it, then you know um, you'll have to make up a different adapter. But it's fairly straightforward, simple machine in operation to do that. Um, one note I will say about these um, uh, motor gearboxes is you need to be very careful when you're ordering them from the Banggood website because there are four different gearboxes. There is a 16 RPM, a 40 RPM, a 260 RPM and a 470 RPM, uh, which is why I have two, because I ordered the wrong one when I, when, when, I, when I first ordered it. This is a 40 RPM, and whilst it's okay, it will drive it, obviously it's incredibly slow. Uh, I opted for the two, this is the 260 RPM one, um, which seems to be fine. That gives you, with the speed controller, that gives you a fairly, fairly good range of um, uh, speed, uh, as you can see in the, in, the, in the previous video. So there you go. A power feed for the compound slide on a Walker W180 lathe. Um, very cheap to make, uh, very easy, and very useful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.